What's up UTV fans, it's Dan, Vivid Racing, and today we're gonna show you how to do an ECU flash on the new 2020 Can-Am Maverick X3. So let's check it out. Vivid Racing uses our own VR Tune ECU flashing system called the iFlash, and this is done using an OBD2 dongle that connects to a PC laptop and plugs into your car's diagnostic port. So you can see here, we've got it plugged in, ready to go. Now the flashing only takes about two to three minutes, which is substantially quicker than other flashing company's tools. With this device, you can flash between tuned and stock, or as many different files you want. So let's show you how it's done. All right, the first step to flash the vehicle, you gotta have the cable plugged in to the diagnostic port. And this is located underneath the center console, and we plug in the adapter, and then we're gonna turn the ignition on. So with the ignition on, it's time to launch the Can-Am Flash Tune program. So you can see here that easily pops up and we're gonna go through the prompts. So I agree, and that's agreeing to the terms and conditions. Next, then we do next, next. And it's going to identify your car. Now I'm using a master cable, but the end user cable that we ship out to customers will then lock to this VIN. So it'll ask you if you're sure that you wanna do this. So you select your Bosch ME 17.8, which is this. And now we'll go to next. And on all these, whether it's the master or end user, we gotta click software options. Do not calculate checksums. We've already done this. For anyone thinking, what is a checksum? Don't worry about it, just click the box. Program ECU memory, yes, that's what we wanna do. Now we're gonna select our file. If you're getting this for your vehicle from us, we will email you the correct original and tuned file. So now we can flash that. So we're gonna choose right here, the one that says uh, 91 octane. And now the process is gonna start writing to the ECU. Again, this takes about two to three minutes. So we'll let it do its thing and check back in. You can see the ECU going through the writing process. It's showing it programming the different memory addresses. This is just showing that the ECU is actually being written to. So we wanna make sure that the computer does not die during the writing process. We wanna make sure that the car does not die during the writing process. So it's generally recommended to have the laptop plugged in and your car on a battery charger if you're concerned about that. Now, for those that don't have a PC laptop, you cannot use a uh, Apple but we have seen people and we've done documents on uh, running little tablets. As long as it's a window-based uh, system, not a Google or, um, or like an iPad, as long as it's a Windows tablet, then you can actually install this to run it um, with your program at any time. So it's not bad to have a tablet in the car. You could use it for navigation um, or anything. So you can get a small one, I think Acer or, or whatnot, but you can use this to program the ECU. So you can see here we are at about 40% and it'll continue on and go pretty quick from here. Another feature of our VR Tune iFlash is you can use the diagnostic button and you can actually read and erase trouble codes. So if you happen to get some sort of check engine light um, from a, you know, an issue with the hose off or whatnot, it'll show you what that is, then look up the code and you can clear that. So it's a nice feature that we have with the VR Tune iFlash for the Can-Am. Now we have about 30% remaining of the flashing. Again, it's been about three minutes, so uh, it does flash fairly quick. And once that's done, we just have to follow the instructions and we'll give the car a start. All right, the ECU has been successfully flashed, so we need to turn off the ignition. And once we've done that, we just click the ignition off button and it will count down, and once that's done, we can then fire it up. You can see here the ECU has been successfully programmed, so now we can just reach in, and with our new VR Tune file, we don't need to use the brake or anything, we can just start this right up. There we go, we have flashed the ECU, fire it up, no issues. So that's how simple it was to flash the ECU on the 2020 Maverick X3 by Can-Am. Now, 
What did we do here? Well, we took this 195 horsepower Can-Am and added 30 horsepower to it. So now we have a 225 horsepower, amazing machine. That's how simple it was. So if you have any questions, make sure you leave a comment, subscribe, and you can order your Can-Am ECU Flash at www.vividracing.com. Thanks, see you guys at the next one.